Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I've got this Retivas DMR Digital Mobile Radio here that I want to try to demonstrate. I've got the lights adjusted so that you can see the screen a little better. I'm trying to hold it so that you can see the screen and be able to uh, transmit. I've got a couple of local repeaters programmed in this thing, and we're going to see if we can make a contact. So here we go, and I'm just using the standard antenna, and I found out that when I came downstairs to my workshop, I can hit the repeaters much better than I could upstairs in my office with all the RF noise going on from all the computers and everything. So right now, I'm not having to use an external antenna. So here we go. I'll try keying the repeater in St. Petersburg, and it's ooh, at least 12 miles from me. So here we go. KE4. Nope. When you hear that dull sound, that means I'm not making the repeater. And the problem is, in order to show you the screen, I got the antenna pointed off at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to bring the radio back up to the antenna. You won't be able to see the screen temporarily. So the antenna is vertical. And now I'm going to try again. KE4 GSK testing Clearwater, Florida. Okay, that first beep beep you heard, that's an indication that I hit the repeater. Let me put the screen back up so you can see the screen. So I was able to hit the repeater, no problem. And I've done that several times this morning. And uh, so that made a big difference moving away from that office of mine with all that RF noise. So I'm trying to see if anybody will come back or anything, but apparently not. It's, uh, it's 1.15 p.m. So a lot of, most people are at work. So I'm not surprised it's not that busy. Now let's try to use a different repeater and it's closer it's in Dunedin so I have to go down to menu and then I have to select zone using that little scroll wheel there and I push uh, push the button scroll button now it shows the zone listing or a new zone if you want to add a new one I want to look at the zone listings there's St. Pete, Tampa, Tampa International, and then here's some analog stuff. There's uh, GMRS, there's no weather service, Marine, and then there's Dunedin Test. Now the reason Doug, who programmed this for me, called it Dunedin Test, is he couldn't find all the parameters for that particular repeater. Now, it timed out, so it went back to where it was. So. I'll stop talking so much and just try to get to it. Here we go. Menu. Zones. Whoops. Zone list. Setting test. And then I have to turn it on. It's now on. Setting test select. And it tells me that I'm on the group one. And I think I want to be on group three on this repeater, which is TAC 310, which um, is, uh, I think, nationwide. So let's go to three. Two. Three. And then I'll see if I can make it. So I'm going to tilt the radio back up. KE4 GSK, Clearwater, Florida, listen. Now that... Motorboat you sound you hear is from my speakers getting the transmission uh, into the speakers. So that's the motorboat sound you hear. So you did hear that uh, quick beep beep. That means I made the repeater. Uh, nobody's coming back to me. And like I can see I believe that's the group called TAC 310. There's hundreds and hundreds of groups, and there's some that are very common. And typically, the TAC 310 is, is fairly busy. So I think I should have made that repeater, 
and uh, I'm surprised nobody has come back to respond to me. Okay, we'll try it one more time. I don't understand that it just you saw maybe briefly that it says ID un, unknown I don't know why it's saying that because it's showing up at the top it's showing my ID but it says ID ID unknown but yet my ID I verified is in the database matter of fact I could try <laughs> try let's see if I can get to the database okay we got to go to menu and then we go to contacts, which is top, contacts. And that's the, the database it is, it's contacts. And there is view contacts CSV. So that's where this, oh, see it timed out on me. That's where the huge database, the 85,000 plus uh, contacts, that are on DMRS are registered, that's where it resides. So let's try it again. I'll go a little faster. Okay, so there is the contacts list. And you can see I'm on the second one out of 85,692. <laughs> so, um, if I can remember my number, I think it's 3157634. Let me try that. Let me put the radio down so I can get to it a little easier. Okay, menu, contacts, whoops, contacts, view contacts. Contacts number. I'm going to put, see if I can get the right number here. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to put in 3157634. Confirm. There it is. KE4 GSK. So I, I'm in the list, so I don't understand when I transmit why it's coming back with ID unknown. Now, I've seen it when someone else is talking. I, I see it come up and I'm hoping, I was hoping that I would hear somebody, uh, at least hear somebody, so that I could show you the information that comes up on the screen. Let's try. Now, the one thing that Doug taught me is that unlike the analog repeaters, uh, you can't just listen. They will, after they're not in use for a while, I don't know what the number is, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they will stop broadcasting if nobody's using them. So what you have to do, if there's nobody on them, you have to key the mic, key them, to, to reset that timer so that they will now start broadcasting and you can hear people on the network. So I'm going to try it again. See if anybody will either come back or I can hear somebody else talking to somebody else. K4 GSK listening in Clearwater, Florida. Okay, there's my ID and note. Up at the top, you saw my ID and it tells me the uh, group I was in, which was TAC 310. But nobody's on. Now, the other thing that I discovered when I was up in my office trying to use the built-in antenna was that I would find a sweet spot so I could hit the... Re Station. There we go. Kilo Delta 5, Alpha Golf Charlie. Over. Now, I didn't hear the, hear the first part of his transmission. Uh -huh. Okay, so what you saw when they were talking is the information <clears throat> about that user. It's in small print. Now, I'll try to hold the camera here so you can see it. Now, as I was saying, 
when I was upstairs and had a lot of interference, I would find a sweet spot and I would key the repeater and then I would set the, uh, and usually I was standing up or holding the uh, radio above my head. Then I would sit the radio down on my desk and then I would never hear anything. Well, that's because unlike... Or CNN. Here we go. Now that said uh, idea known also. Now, Another reason the ID might not be showing up is because every day... Good afternoon, Ray. There you go. There's somebody. And it shows his name, location, and then I think some other information. So you immediately know... Oh, so it's his call sign. So you know immediately know the person's call sign. Was a second or two after you pushed the talk, the first part of your transmission was cut off. Okay, it must be a new user on the other side. We get this up a little closer to the camera. And now you should be able to see the date and time down on the bottom. And then a CNN, KM4, HRR. Do you copy? See, that guy was in uh, Virginia, I think it said. So, bottom line, the radio is working a lot better since I got away from that noisy RF environment environment in my office. And like I say, I'm just using the built-in antenna right now. Not now using outside antenna. Now what I'm going to do is, a uh, previous show I showed you the J-pole 2 meter antenna, which should also work on this band. And that will give me... Now that's one thing about digital is if you have a if you have a weak signal into the repeater and it's dropping out so to speak um, your transmission will get cut off. So unlike analog, which w if you have a weak signal, it'll kind of get. Eight o'clock mark. I'm in a concrete jungle. Are you copy Brian? Okay, I don't know, understand why that uh, is saying sometimes uh, ID unknown. Because I saw it there for a second and it was a low number ID. HRR, CNN. And other times it's. Um, DJ there it is. CNN, KM4, HRR. Your uh, transmissions are breaking up just a little tiny bit, uh, either at the very beginning or the very tail. But other than that, I can hear you fine. Over. Okay, that would explain why it's not finding the ID. Uh, possibly the ID because he is intermittent, barely making the repeater. The ID information may be garbled, and that's why it can't detect what his ID is, or. It's getting, it's detecting a number that's not the real number. But the, because the other person who is strong into the repeater, it gets its info, he gets, the radio gets its information. See, that guy is the one that's just barely making the repeater. Uh, I don't know if you can copy this, but uh, I have to wish you 73 minutes because I've got another puppy to take out over. And I, th I think that could be what's happening is it's trying to get that ID from the repeater. And if the signal is a little weak and, it's, and the digital information is dropping out, it won't get the right ID. Which is what's... See, it's, it's, that person is dropping in and out, dropping in and out, so he's not making the repeater similar to what the problem I had when I was working in my office, which is that problem is gone now that I moved down to my workshop. So that's a pretty good uh, example of using the radio. The radio, now there's this guy who was strong, so his ID stuff came through. Okay, I think I've shown you enough as an example. And uh, did copy it, uh, then I think so. If I didn't copy it, I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, I, uh, 
uh, I got your text also. I'm in a concrete jungle, and I mean, I've got buildings all around me. Um, let me, uh, I'm going to have to wish you 73, buddy, because I have another dog to walk right now. Did you copy that? Over. Okay, so... Um, K for CNN, KM for HRR. That was a solid copy. Um, yeah, shoot me a text if you want to try again later, and uh, we'll find a talk group, and we'll uh, talk. On the aptly named. So it gives his name, K gives his happy call sign, KM4 gives HRR his location. And on the side. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I will do some more testing using an outside antenna so that I can set the radio down here on my desk flat and I don't have to worry about having the antenna vertical. So if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you want one of these radios, you can get one off of my Amazon store. Have a great day. Bye-bye.